Showtime over. Good luck. This is There he is. Ray receiving JP, he's got a few to tip. Oh. It's James A. Caster. Ink Ink This is Oh f ah. This is It's it's It didn't go to plan. I don't think he's gonna make it. James, you've been hunted down, the time runs over. We've got James A. Caster. Hey, James, James is caught! James is caught. Have we seen Ed? Where's Ed? I'll never tell you. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't loving this, JP. I'm going through the house now. No sign. Watching you guys failing to find my friend Ed Gamble. Where's James? I think James got caught. Ed has made it to his planned getaway driver. I haven't planned to be on my own. I think my wife might be at work today, so I don't want to go to my house and not be able to get in because I don't have the keys. So, I'm currently going to Signature Brewery. I know a few of the guys there. Hello. You did that, you right? Good. Good to see you. I'm on the run. What I was hoping to do was use your official Signature Brew Instagram account to message my wife. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hi, Charlie. We think you left your purse here when you were here the other night. The purse has some sort of Christmas duck on it. Now, that's because when we went to New York, she got really drunk and she was Googling pictures of um, ducks at Christmas. <laughs> so no one else would know that. Um, what do we do now, though? Well, I, get, I, can, I can get you a pint of beer. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello. After receiving the coded Instagram message, Ed's wife, Charlie, has called the brewery. What, what are you doing now? You're at work, are you? I can get there as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see you. Chief, activity on Charlie Jameson's phone. Outgoing call. That is Signature Brew Black Horse Road, East London. Close to the home address. Ray, he's at the frickin' brewery. Get the team moving now. Ed Gamble, I think he's getting cocky. He's going to make mistakes, and I think he's just made one. And that is when we take you out. Yeah, Ray from JP. Yeah, go ahead. We're just currently looking around the location. Melter Ray, yeah. I have been led to believe that they left about five minutes ago on foot. Tell them to stand by. Ed and his wife, Charlie, have moved to their local climbing centre. I'm on the run. <laughs> Could I hide out here a little bit? 100%. Result. My wife is going to be my greatest asset. She is not giving anything up whatsoever. She will throw them off the scent straight away. Unless she misses me and needs me to come home to do some sort of job in the house, in which case she'll give me up. Chief, we've just had an Apple transaction from Charlie Jameson. Location yonder climbing centre. Which isn't far from the signature pub. Ray, just approaching the location now. Yeah, JP, if we can cover this off as best we can. Yes, yes, that's all received. Right, we can't go in there. It's going to be way too busy. I want to get them outside. Just got to location now. Yeah, Roger, understood. OK, they're approaching it now. Just been given a heads up. There's no uh, people with tactical outfit coming this way, so you might want to hide. OK, doing it, thank you. Ah, <laughs> After a member of staff spotted ground hunters Mel and JP outside the climbing centre, Ed has been hiding behind a wall for two hours. I don't think they're here anymore. I think they've gone. For Ray, I've seen four people just walk out. Different clothing, but could be our fugitive. Absolutely incredible if, they, if they've not spotted me there. <laughs> I've got Ed running! Hang on a minute, hang on. We've got a runner, we've got a runner. Get away from me, you're covered in Ed, the time runs over. You've been hunted down. Yeah, Ray, captured. I've got Ed Gamble. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, Ed Gamble. The time runs over, Ed. You still smell of I've asked if we've uh, got someone here who wants to speak to you. I cannot believe it's taken you a week to catch us. How has your time on the run been? Bit of a shame to go out, but I get to go home now. Well, you guys are still slaving away. Can't go back to your lives because they're too sad. <laughs> and you've lasted longer than any of us thought you would. But now, Foxtrot Oscar, we've had enough. <laughs> <laughs>